I love fried eggplant so much, I'm always looking for ways to turn it into a main course. I made fried eggplant with curried tomatoes and chickpeas. For this dish, it's best to use nice small baby eggplant. They're sweeter, they have fewer seeds, you don't need to salt them. I think that if you find very fresh eggplant and you find ones that aren't too large, generally they're sweet enough. So you heat up a little bit of oil and then you add the eggplant slices. As soon as they get brown, you flip them. And then when they're soft, you just let them drain and then you salt them immediately while they're still warm and that way they can absorb the salt. When you're frying the eggplant, I'm not looking to bread it first because I'm not interested in crisp. I want this to be soft and very caramelized. I also added curried tomatoes and chickpeas. And to make that is super easy. You brown some onions with some spices. I used garam masala, paprika, and a little bit of cayenne. Added some garlic. Rare is the eggplant dish that doesn't also include garlic. Think about it. And then after that got really just brown and gorgeous, I added tomatoes and cooked chickpeas. You could use freshly cooked ones or you could use canned ones in this instance. It works perfectly well. So now you just wanna let this cook for about 10 or 15 minutes until the tomatoes start to break down. Then you add the eggplant. This is a little bit longer than your average after work kind of dish. You probably need about 45 minutes to an hour because you have to fry the eggplant in batches, but it's such a special dish that it's worth taking the time. All right, this is ready. I'm gonna top the eggplant with a very spicy mint chutney. Now, when I say chutney, don't think sweet mango chutney. Think this thing is gonna bring tears to your eyes. It has jalapeno, it has mint, it has cilantro, it has salt, it has a little bit of water just to get it all moving. You blend it into this very potent, very delicious paste. And then big spoonfuls of creamy yogurt. Use rich Greek yogurt, it's very cooling. It's a perfect vegetarian entree.